Right, servicing. This is a huge bone of contention within the gas industry and especially with the big boys, as in the national companies. There are various opinions and um, policies and procedures concerning servicing procedures on appliances like this. Now this is uh, a condensing boiler, so been in manufacturer for a good 10-15 years and uh, this is an Ecotech, so it's been around since 2005. Now, we have two levels of servicing. We have one, which is the defined scope service, which is the minimum level. Now the best way to describe that, or the way I describe it to people when they phone up making inquiries is to say that that's your, your British Gas Service, or your NPower Service, or your EON Service, or Home Serve Service, okay? This is the bare minimum. Now that doesn't mean to say that they're breaking any rules, it just means that their policy is to do the absolute minimum as far as the manufacturers are concerned, the gas safety regulations are concerned and what fits into their own terms and conditions. It is non-intrusive to the boiler. We have then the full scope service, which is very intrusive to the boiler, and that's the service that we generally carry out. Now for our regular customers, we do a biannual full scope service. So every second year, we will be intruding into your boiler and getting very personal with it. And every Second year, we would just carry out the basic minimum service, or unless it needs something doing to it. So we're going to have a quick look at what we do on a service. Now this is basically our policy and our procedure. It doesn't mean to say that it's right or wrong, or that any other company should do it. It just is the way we like to do things. Now, on a full scope service, we do get quite um, intimate. And one of the first things we'll do is we'll remove the whole burner assembly and that's because on this particular model and the Ecomax and the condenser models that Valent make, which is what we specialise in, they had a recall on a combustion seal and the initial seals that they were using were breaking down very early and causing horrific damage to the boilers. In some cases, like this one, we had to replace the boiler because it was just not financially viable to repair all the components that had been damaged by the heat. So it was a new boiler. So another good reason to get these checked out regularly. Now the new graphite seals that go into these systems or these combustion chambers are, have got, a, well longevity wise, they last a lot longer and a lot more robust. That doesn't mean to say though that it doesn't need changing. We're just starting to find now with some boilers, not the ones that we've serviced, but boilers that are coming through the system now, that haven't been touched or serviced for four or five years, that the graphite seals are starting to break down quite badly. So realistically, that burner needs to come out at least every four years. But we do it biannually. So, first thing we'll do for the gas side of things is we will remove whoops, the burner. Okay. Now this will need cleaning. We will also service the ignition system. And more importantly, this graphite seal will be replaced. So we'll service all the burner area replace the seal and then when we're finished this will go back in. Once we've got the burner out we can see then and inspect inside the heat exchanger. Now this you can see, well you may not be able to see actually because obviously there's a bit of distance here, but if you look in here this is absolutely rotten and that's because this boiler had never been serviced. And I can pick out, you might be able to, if I sprinkle that down there, this is blocked solid with sediment and oxides from the combustion process. Again, this has never been inspected or checked or cleaned. So this is one area, again, biannually, we will clean out the heat exchanger, make sure all the fins are nice and clear so it doesn't affect the combustion and we can transfer the heat nice and quickly into the water that's zipping around inside of that heat exchanger. Once we've done all that, we will then reassemble the gas assembly and put it all back together again, and that will be the heat exchanger and burner done. The other thing, again, which is quite critical on this type of boiler, is ensuring that the seal is intact and it's actually made a full seal all the way around the heat exchanger fascia. Once that's done, that's most of the gas side of it, completed. 
we will then drain the boiler. <gasps> I hear people say, loads of plumbers going, oh, what do we do that for? Well, there's a good reason for that. We'll drain the boiler. That will enable us, A, to take a sample of the water and we can check to see how clean your heating system is. And if the chemical level seems to be borderline or perhaps the chemical level is a little bit low in your heating system, we will then inject a top-up dose on that service. So it maintains the cleanliness of your heating system to protect this heat exchanger because if that gets blocked up, you might as well write the boiler off. Very, very important. Then, once while we've got it drained, we will remove the digital sensor and we check the filter, clear it, clean it, and if required, if the sensor is badly blocked, which it will be, even on a clean system, sometimes we need to replace that so that we know we're not going to get any horrible or nasty recalls later on, especially in the winter when it's very cold. So that will get serviced and checked in the hydro block. The next thing we'll do is we will service the expansion vessel. Now this is massively overlooked by all heating companies and the majority of plumbers and heating engineers. In fact, where I teach at the college and have adults in for training, I'd say 50% of the plumbers and heating engineers that come into the college don't really understand what this does or how critically important it is concerning the operation and the efficiency of your heating system. Therefore, it gets grossly overlooked. But we do this on every single visit, not just a service visit, any kind of a visit at all. We check, drain and recharge and set that vessel up properly so you don't get any problems for at least 12, 18 months. Very, very important. So, we've done the expansion vessel, we've done the hydro block and the sensor, we've done the heat exchanger, we've done the burner and ignition system, and then we will top up the heating system with chemical as, as is required if it's starting to get a bit borderline. Or we may just stick some in there anyway because we use Sentinel X100, which you can't overdose, so it can only be good for the system anyway. Once we've done all that, we will then, as I said, replace, rebuild the boiler, we will refill the boiler, and then we'll put it into a, what's called a P0 test program, which is an engineer's program that we use to purge and clear the heat exchanger and the domestic heat exchanger and the internal circuitry of the boiler to make sure there's no air trapped in there and that we can't damage the boiler by firing it up too early. Now you'll probably find that while that program's running, we will be busily tapping away on our iPads because we will be filling out your printed and PDF service record which lists all the criteria that has been carried out and it will give you all the notes as to what's been done and if you need any replacement parts, it will all be on the service record. Once the boiler's gone through the P0 program, we can then turn the boiler back on and we can run the system. So that's when we'll go around and we will check your controls to make sure everything's switching in and switching out as it should. We will then take a sample from the top of the flue here using the flue gas analyzer and we will read off all the combustion readings again which will go onto your service record. So we'll have the CO2, the CO, the oxygen and the ratio readings as well as the gross flue temperatures. All the combustion readings will be listed on your service record. Once we've completed all that, we will then get you to sign it and then we would forward that to you straight in the email there and then on site. So now you have a complete service record for your boiler for that year and we will have it on our system so that after the service we know exactly what was done on the previous year and or if we have to come out to it in between times. So once the boiler's all filled up and charged and running again, brilliant we can pretty much tick all the boxes and start packing the tools away. Unless, of course, you have something like this. Now this is a MagnaClean display model, but obviously this would be fitted somewhere under the boiler. And again, your national companies won't touch this within a million, they won't go within a million miles of it. We will take out the MagnaClean, we will service the MagnaClean for you, and this is where we will top up your heating system with chemical if you have one. If not, we'll have to do it somewhere else. So we will service your MagnaClean 
as well. So there you have it. That's a basic rundown of what we would do on a full service and what we would expect to be done on a full service. There might be a few other bits and bobs that we might look at, but generally speaking, that's where you're going to get for your money. And then hopefully it will prevent horror stories like this occurring to you in your home. So, there you go. Servicing procedures done the 1200boilers.com way. If you quite like the idea of having your boiler service properly every year, give us a ring or go to the Contact Us page and let me know. And hopefully, you never know, one day I might be seeing you soon. Thanks very much.